Oh, shit. Deontay Wilder not going to like this. Well, Tyson Fury, the Gypsy King, is back at it again. And in an interview, he revealed that he got offered a movie role by none other than Sylvester Stallone. And the reason why this is particular to somebody like Deontay Wilder, because as you know, acting is Deontay Wilder's passion. Not boxing, acting is his passion. You know, in his spare time when he's not scuba diving and whatnot. You know, and the reason why this is interesting for Deontay Wilder, because Deontay Wilder was rumored to be up for the role of playing Clubber Lane's son in a Rocky film. And being that acting in movies is something that I know and that Deontay Wilder has made clear that's what he wants to do. And when he gets done with boxing, he wants to go into acting. I just find it particularly funny that when it comes to being offered movie roles, it's actually Tyson Fury. And not only that, it was offered to him by the same man who which they was hoping would pick Deontay Wilder to play Clubber Lane's son in, I guess, uh, a Creed 3 film or 4 or something like that. So when I seen it, I, I instantly thought of Wilder. I said, he's not going to be too happy about this because, you know, Wilder is one jelly, nasty little woman. You know what I'm saying? His jealousy rises towards no end. You know, but I just had to put a highlight on this because I just thought it I just thought it was completely hilarious. And also it gives me the opportunity to talk about something that I've constantly talked about that I've always brung up when it comes to Tyson Fury. Why do you think Stallone offered Tyson Fury a movie role? Why? Once again, Tyson Fury shows the importance of having a mouthpiece in boxing. Tyson Fury shows the importance of learning the art of skullduggery. You know, Tyson Fury shows the importance of being charismatic and not just be a fighter that straps on some gloves, steps in and out of the ring, pick up his check and go home. OK, a large amount of what you do is entertainment. You have to look at yourself. You're not just a boxer. You are an entertainer. People watch you boxing because boxing is supposed to be entertaining. So truthfully, underneath it all, when you looked at. Through the masses eyes, through the casual person's eyes, you are a entertainer who happens to be a boxer. OK, that's how you entertain. But Tyson Fury's showmanship, what he does before ring, the whole coming to America thing and his whole antics and the, uh, the way he talk, his quick brain being able to think on his feet. These are the things that propelled him for people to want to see him in some WWE which I thought was a perfect fit for him. This is the reason why UFC is taking an interest in him. This is why people like Sylvester Stallone is offering him movie roles. He shows you how important it is to be able to speak. You know what I'm saying? Fluently, cleverly, being articulate, intelligent, and quick-witted. This is what I try to get these other boxers to understand. That's why... When it comes to people like um, um, like Errol Spence or even Terrence Crawford, for that matter, they can never look to be as big as somebody who has a mouthpiece. OK, because you can have talent. It doesn't mean you're going to sell this. This guy is the perfect example right here. He's the perfect example of how you have to put on. More than just in the ring. Look at Adrian Broner. Skills not there, but still to this day, he could put asses in seats. Why is that? Because he's entertaining. His entertainment may not be clever. It may be come from acting ignorant and saying ignorant things. But under all, it's entertaining. That's why he can still demand the big checks, even though he has taken a loss and his trained and passed a long time ago. But he still gets big checks. You know, I don't know what these boxers and who they're listening to. You know, if I was a boxer, I would be on YouTube soaking all this shit up. Meaning I would want my pulse on what people are saying, what people know about me and what people think about me. These videos are out here. These videos is just not just for us to consume as subscribers. These boxers also need to utilize the power of YouTube and content creators. Hell, look at Logan Paul and KSI. 
that should tell you something right there. But I've been telling these boxers, listen, learn how to talk. It's the same thing with Vasily Lomachenko. And, and Vasily Lomachenko said himself, out of his own mouth, I would be a bigger star if I knew how to speak English. Well, you've been here long enough. You should learn how to speak English. You know what I'm saying? Canelo would be an even bigger star than what he is if he would speak English. Not that learn English because Canelo knows how to speak English and he understands English. But he would be an even bigger star if he just spoke English sometimes. The same thing I say with Alexander Uzik, which he is doing, which is great. You know what I'm saying? You got to learn to speak. You got to be learned charismatic. You have to understand you have to entertain us outside the boxing ring. Whether it's your hardcore cold truth, like somebody like Muhammad Ali, or your charismatic, um, uplifting, um, just warm-hearted uh, angle that you come at, which Anthony Joshua uses, or it's your quick-witted tongue. That's the thing that Tyson Fury uses. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody could be a Manny Pacquiao, just love just to be loved. You don't really have to talk much, but Manny can't speak English. You know? But you have to give him something more. But this is why he's offered the movie roles and Deontay Wilder isn't. This is why he can be universal. This is why he can flip over to WWE. This is why he can flip over to UFC. This is why people want to have him over here. People have Because Tyson Fury is one of the best boxers I've seen to learn how to identify with the common woman and man. He's great at that. And... He's skillful inside the ring. He don't want to fight nobody worth a damn, but he's skillful in the ring. But he's using everything to his advantage. People need to study Tyson Fury because he's showing you how to work the game. Anyways, that's just my thoughts on it. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Bruce Vane, I'm out.